Hello everyone, and welcome to this walkthrough for Chapter 1 in the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin DLC. We are returning to the Pizzaplex as Cassie to figure out what has happened to Gregory as he is requesting our help. So here we are at the beginning of the Pizzaplex. We can go down this ladder quickly here. So let's go straight down here. And over to the right is a broken helper bot who has a flashlight for us conveniently so that we can use it to explore the deep dark areas of the pizza plex. Once we get the flashlight, we can turn around and head into the dark pizza plex. Now guys, in this first area, I can tell you there is a lot of jump scares and creepy atmosphere. It is so on edge. So, uh, get ready for some scares as we enter the pizza plex. Now I'm gonna kind of just sprint through here because I've played through the area already to find the best route for you guys. But we continue straight for the most part. Creepy music. Uh, go to the left down here, and we are going to pick up this walkie-talkie so we can speak with Gregory. Alright, now we can continue forward into the elevator shaft and up this ladder. At the top of the ladder, we enter a vent, and do not worry, nothing is going to chase you in the vent yet. So you don't have to worry about a little music man chasing you down. And then we get dumped into the dirty kitchens. Okay. So let's continue through I'm the okay. kitchen here. There's nothing scary in this room at all, okay? Chica? Chica looks what beat up for you? sure, and we know you why. <laughs> Gregory sure did a number on her in Security Breach. Now let's continue down the hall here. And you can just go straight down to the very end. Go to this toolbox because there's a faz wrench we need to pick up. Then go over here and we encounter our first puzzle, which is charging up these conduits. Now all you have to do is get both of them into the blue area. Once they're both in the blue, the door will open. Now we can go through the door and down the stairs. If you look to the left, you get a nice surprise. And then we can go through the door. Now this is a completely game walkthrough, guys. I am not going to be searching for collectibles here. Uh, if anything, I will make a separate video going over all the collectible locations. Then we want to make our way to this pipe to continue into the Pizzaplex. Okay, we're out of the pipe now. Just continue forwards down this path. And now we get the Vanny mask. Free mask. Once you put it on, you can just head forwards through this box. And we get another message from Helpy here, because now we are integrated are into the network. And we can quickly solve this next conduit puzzle. Okay, continue through the door here. Quick note here, if you run up to the wet floor bots with the Vanny mask on, you can disable them. Disabling all the bots unlocks a special secret. Uh, to get past this door, just put on your mask and we can phase through it with the power of augmented reality. And then we can go through this door to the right and down the path. We are now going to be in the Monte Golf area and you want to go to this security camera console first. Here you can see the various security cameras in the area, but more importantly, if you zoom out, there is a secret security camera, and clicking on it will unlock this door for a secret ending. Now you also use these cameras to lure animatronics away 
via an intercom system playing a remix of your voice. Uh, just lure Monty to this camera for one, and then we can go through the area. Now Monty isn't actually going to be there when we get over there. He kind of just wanders off, so you don't have to worry about him. So let's go make our way over there. And there's a Monty Golf game there, you can play it. This is Monty Golf. Now put on our mask to get over here. And then on the other side of the shack, we must take our mask off to continue. Here's where we saw Monty before, but he is no longer here, so you can just run down. And then we're continuing over this way. In this next area, even though you saw Monty, he won't be around, uh, so you don't have to worry about him killing you just yet. After talking with Gregory, put on your mask so we can get up the stairs. And then you can put your mask on again to get past this obstacle. Here we have our first security node, which all you have to do is press E on the barrel to unlock it. And then we have to complete a little puzzle. Now the security nodes can really be anything, they're just like random props. Just follow the lines on the ground that come out of the bunny head and you'll be able to find them. And the reason I'm taking my mask off is mostly for you guys, just so it's not so purple all the time. So you can see what the reality looks like. So you want to continue down over here and then crawl through the boxes and trash. And we will be in the next area. Now this security camera console just shows you the electrified door. But let me show you where the security nodes are. So the first one is going to be this barrel over here. We put our mask on. And now we got the anomaly. So now there's a chance for this creature to spawn that can interfere with your progress. But let's go over to the second note here, which is the Monty Gator cutout. And I don't want to say too much about this entity because I don't want to reveal anything about the story. So let's just call it the Bunny Man for now. So now I'm going to go over to this node to deactivate it. And the Bunny Man can spawn while you are doing this. Okay, so that means he's here when you hear that sound, so take off your mask immediately. And now I want to take a moment to go over the bunny man's behavior, because it's not very clear how he works at first. So basically if you're in augmented reality for too long, the bunny man will appear. If he is really close to you, like on top of you, and he's doing this animation, that means he's going to be summoning an animatronic to your location. And he does this pretty fast if you're not quick with taking off your mask. So what happens when he summons an animatronic? Well, the animatronic will walk around and walk after you. Now, they're not as fast as they were in Security Breach. They kind of just walk around and slowly follow you. So it is possible to kite the animatronic to a back area location to allow you to run and complete a node or whatever you have to do. Now, if you can kite the animatronic for long enough, eventually it will despawn after a few minutes. In this example, it took Monty a little under three minutes to despawn. So until that point, you just have to deal with it. Now, I'm sure in some areas that allow you to use the intercom on the cameras, you may be able to use it to lure the animatronic away from you. It is possible to hide from the animatronics. I was able to hide from Chica once until she despawned. But I would say that's a bit of a more risky strategy. Now obviously your best bet is to remove the mask right away, but maybe you're doing something and you want to finish it real quick uh, before you take the mask off. Something else about him is that if you run away far enough, then he will stop summoning the animatronic and he just kind of stares at you. Now he will slowly start to move towards you if you are not close to him. So if he gets close to you, then he will summon the animatronic. So it's still best to take your mask off for a few seconds so he despawns. Now back to the walkthrough. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here and then put my mask back on. And right here we have the first node. Then turn over to the right and this golf club is the next node. 
And then the final note is this uh, little thingy here. And now we can do the puzzle. Now if you ever have to exit out of a puzzle, it does save your progress. So don't be concerned about that. Uh, but now the door is open. If we check the camera here, you can see it. So let's go over to that door. And there's Monty giving you a nice surprise. And then we have a bunch of people whispering in our ears to go to the door. You know, there's a lot of story implications for the voices that you hear, but it also makes me think that the reason they made those voices was because the first security breach was so confusing on where to go that now they're kind of like telling you, this is where to go. But let's just continue through here. Now the longer you have the mask on, the more likely it is for the bunny man to spawn. So just be aware of that. If you cannot have your mask on, it reduces the risk of him spawning and potentially calling animatronics to your location. Now there are a lot of collectibles that can only be attained with the mask on. They are the AR collectibles. So feel free to use that to get around. And it's pretty easy to avoid the bunny man. All you have to do is take off your mask as soon as you hear the sound. Now that may become more difficult later on with the other challenges that we will face, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So now let's solve the door here. Now the first security note is on the desk over here. And then we turn around to get the second one. Now we can exit the door and go over here. When you get into this big area, turn left immediately because we have a nightmare plushie here. That is the first security node. So go ahead, put your mask on and deactivate that bad boy. Then we can take our mask off and head upstairs for the second node. So the second node is going to be down over here next to the purple chair. We'll deactivate that and then go down here to do the node puzzle. Oh, my mask is on my pass wrench there. That's not a bug at all. Um, but we just quickly solve this. And then taking my mask off again to continue down. And here we have another vent, um, kind of, it's all broken up. Oops, I, I put my mask on too early there. So you have to be in this room and then you will want to put on your mask in front of no, the camera station. And this is where we get introduced to the anomaly detection, where you have to find the camera where the image is and detect the anomaly. That one's super easy. And now we are in the superstar daycare which is the start of chapter two of the Ruin DLC. So I hope this walkthrough has helped you out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.